Welcome class to this mini lesson on arrays in mathematics. We're going to take a number today and we're going to turn it into an array. So let's switch over real quick to our little whiteboard. Looking at the whiteboard here, we can actually see that we already have some counters here. We're familiar with counters in math, but these counters, if we look at them real quick, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 counters here. So we have 12 to start off with. And what we're going to do is take these 12 counters to show in an array. An array is spelled A, R, R, A, Y. That would be an array. Let's fix our little Y here. There we go. So right there is an array. And an array is usually called rectangular arrays. And what they do is they align the number up into rows and columns and we're going to take a look at that. So let's take right here and let's create an array right here with 12. I'm going to create an array. I'm going to move the counters and line them up into even rows and columns. And I'm going to start off and we're going to try two rows. So I'm going to keep it even all the way through. So we're moving it through. As you can see, I'm getting closer to the end here. We have currently used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the last 2. This is an array. If you look very closely here, when we look at these arrays, we'll see that we have two rows, one row, two rows, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. This is called a two by six array. Two rows, six columns. Now we can actually go through and redistribute all this and create a different array. I'm going to do that real quick. I'm actually going to take this. We're going to make an array that has three rows and see if we can do it. I'm just going to move some of these down because we want to make sure that it is equal. If we look real closely here, we see now we have one, two, three. This is a three by, I mean the time symbol will mean by, one, two, three, Four. Four columns. So three rows by four columns. And these are very specific terms you want to learn. Rows is going across here. This is a row. And the column is going down. So we have three rows, four columns. Or you can see that each row has four inside of it. It's the way we can look at it. Now, this is an array. Let me show you real quick an example of an, something that's not an array. We're going to go to this next page. And on here, we should have 13, or not 13, but 15 counters. So we have 15 counters. I'm going to show you what's not an array. We're going to create an array with two rows, or we're going to try to. So we're going to take these. We're at four. Six, eight, ten, we got to grab these last ones. Now you'll see that we have an issue. I put this one here at the end and this will not work because an array requires that each row or each column have the same amount. And if we look at these two right here, if we look at this row, it has one more than this row right here. We're missing this point. And I look at this column, it's also the same way. It's got one in it has one in it. It needs to have two. Each column has two in it in this case. This one only has one, so we're missing this point right here. So that's not a possible array for 15. 
So we have to reorganize it to find an array that is possible. So we're going to slowly move it down. I'm going to move it down to here. We're going to try three rows now. And we're going to see if that's possible. So I move closer. We have made ourselves a nice rectangular array this time. And you can see the rectangular array like that. So we have one, two, three rows. And one, two, three, four, five columns. So we have three rows by five columns, which equals 15. That's our array. Three by five. You can see each row has five in it, or each column has three in it. So boys and girls, there you have yourself an array. So that's about it for arrays. Just remember the key points here that they are made up of rows and columns that each row and each column have an equal amount. So if you have three rows, all three of those rows better have the same number of better have the same number of counters in it. Or if you're looking at the columns, the columns better have the same number of counters in it. If they don't, it is not an array. It has to make a rectangular. It has to go around. Nice. And that would be an array. See you next time.